guys, so I want to give you a really brief quick tutorial on how to set this um, set this rig up and get the live bait out and running. This is one of the easiest ways you can start targeting bigger fish. You catch little small baits like we did earlier, you get a hook, you get a sinker, you put the little bait on the hook, you cast it out. So let me show you the rig real quick. Follow me. Follow me. Can you, can you watch that dad? I'm gonna show you guys how to tie this rig really quick. I'm going to put a live bait on and catch a fish and just show you a good example of how to use live bait. So first, I have 30 pound fluorocarbon line and I'm gonna tie my rig. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take one end, make a loop right here, right? Make a loop. Then make another loop. Spin it once, twice, three times, four times. Then, you see this little tag end right here? Bring that in through this loop, okay? And pull. So now once you have this loop, you can, this is the loop that I use for a sinker. Now depending on how fast the water is moving, that's how heavy your weight should be. So if the water is moving really, really fast, you need a weight that'll stay in the ground. So I would use something like a three, four ounce. But if, it, if the water is not moving very fast at all, I'll use a one or two ounce. Just to keep the fish on the bottom and keep it in the same spot. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you take this loop, put this loop inside the hole, and put the sinker back through the loop. And now the sinker is secure. Yeah. Right? Now for the hook. Depending on how big the bait fish is, if you've got little minnows this big, this hook will be way too big. I'm using a 4 aught sized fishing hook because this fits my bait really well and the kind of fish that are around here. So I'm going to put this on. And the knot that I like to use for these, I'm going to show you it real quick. You put it through once, put it through twice. And you see this loop right here? Yes. Keep this loop on the shaft of this, like this, and pinch, okay? Then, okay. with that, you see this tag end? Yes. Wrap once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and if you really think the fish are gonna be big, six times. Ooh. After that, you see this tag end? Mm -hmm. Put that tag end through this loop and pull. Don't let go of these two fingers, keep pinching them. Pull and then start getting the knot in. So a lot of times you can mess up from this point on. So what I'd like to do is hold it with my tooth, keep tension, pull, and then slide this knot down. See? And look how nicely these the line is stacked on here. This is a good knot. So now, you've got a rig where the fish can swim freely around here. And the fish can't, won't be able to pull the two ounce sinker unless it's a bigger fish. But the fish that I'm using will not be able to pull the little two ounce sinker much. It'll only be able to travel around a radius like this. So now when a fish is chasing or a fish is looking to eat this, this fish will start freaking out. This bait fish will start swimming all over the place and you'll see your rod. You'll see your line start jumping a little bit. And that's when you know that the fish is anxious. The fish is anxious because it's about to get eaten. So make sure you are alert and ready to pick up the rod. Okay, so I don't know what rig this is called. There's so many different rigs I like to use. This is just one of them. It may not be best for you, but it works well for me. Comment some rigs you like to use below for live lining. Um, I'm always down to learn a new rig. The more the merrier. So keep the comments coming. Now let's get to some fishing. All right, when you're choosing your bait, it's kind of like a, a balancing game. Okay. If you choose a big old piece of, if you pick a, a big piece of bait mm -hmm. versus a tiny piece of bait, mm -hmm. the tiny one is more likely to get hit 
and eaten and you're more likely to catch a fish with that. Um, the bigger one, from my experience, will get hit less, but a bigger fish will hit it. So it's a matter of quality over quantity. You pick. For me, today we're just gonna use a small one so we can catch one real quick and show you how we do it. Um, but for you, do whatever you want. If you wanna catch big fish, expect to wait around a little bit longer than if you use a bigger bait. And now there's a lot of different ways you can hook it. Oop, let me show you. Whoa, that was a nice catch. So, shoot. You can hook it on the shoulder here, between the nose and the eye, um, right above the tail right here. I personally like to put it right on the shoulder. And don't hook too much of it, just enough to keep it on the hook. You don't want to kill the fish. Right. And live lining is, um, yeah, it is one of the easiest ways and one of the most uh, efficient ways to catch big fish. And it's been, I mean, it's been done for, I don't know, like a very long time. It's not a new tactic no. whatsoever. This is like the classic way to do it. Using a small fish to catch a big fish. Exactly. Pretty old school. <clears throat> cast it out. Yep. Any tips for casting this so that you don't casting lose it, the fish? Don't cast it as hard as you can. Make sure that you're not going to kill the fish or fling it off. Kind of loft it gently. Loft. Ooh, what a gentle loft. And now you don't even have to cast it. A lot of times on piers, um, big fish hang around the, the structure, the light lines, stuff like that. But uh, right now we're just going to keep casting it out. We're getting a lot of tugs. If you're going to set your rod down, Make sure you set the drag so that when you pull, there's not tension. You don't want you don't want a big fish to come up, take your bait, and run your rod into the water. Um, this will prevent that, and it'll also prevent it from the fish feeling tension and then dropping the fish in its mouth. So set the drag, set it down, and watch your line because sometimes the fish are smart they'll hit the bait and run towards you and you won't even hear any kind of drag going off. It's important to watch your line to see it, the line moving. If it starts moving towards you really quick, you know, that's not the bait fish. That's probably a big fish with the, with the bait fish in its mouth. To anybody who needs help, I have created a PDF and this adventure guide will basically teach you step by step how to catch a fish on the pier. And if you want to read through it yourself, it's in the link in the description below. Sail catfish. What is that? Look at all. Oh. Whoa, be careful, be careful. These are dangerous. <laughs> Don't get pricked by one of these. I'm gonna wait for it to calm down and show you what this thing looks like. Oh my goodness. Okay, calm yourself, boy. Okay. Get me a rag, please. Sure. Alright, nice. That's a that's a good look at how that fish is in its mouth. Look at that. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you got him. <laughs> you All right. Him. Yeah, I hooked him right on the bottom of the lip. That is the weirdest looking catfish. Did, look at this catfish. With such long whiskers. White whiskers too. Look Whoa, at that. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Gross. Wow, that's a lot of slime. So I've, I've heard from um, a couple of people now that the river here has some kind of disease where it's like on the fish. Do you remember remember hearing about yeah, that, Aaron? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically be careful when you're fishing with uh, in, in this part of the, 
the river because if you have open wounds and stuff, they'll get infected really easily mm -hmm. because the fish in here have this disease on its skin, something like that. If you guys know any more information about that, comment below. We're in the Melbourne area. All right, so that catfish that we just caught, now, it didn't even run me out. I didn't set my drag off, it didn't do anything. What I really had to do was watch the line because all of a sudden the line started moving towards me. It went zzz, 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 and then it just went slack. I was like, what the? Is the fish gone? So I reeled in that slack and I, I gave it a feel and I felt something still on it. And I thought maybe it was just a bait fish. And it started running, and then that line started getting really slack, even more slack, and I realized that, that that's a fish on there. So I reeled it, reeled it, reeled it, set the hook, and it was. So. Moral of the story is, you need to watch your lines. Because sometimes, it's not a big tug, it's not a really big noticeable hit, but there is a fish on the line. Mm. Yeah. Good tip. Now, I'm just showing you my way of catching big fish on piers, on just in general. Now, game fishing is very hard. Landing a trophy fish is, is, is a skill on its own. This is a really good way just to start getting used to using live bait. Now we might not even catch any kind of big game fish or anything worth, you know, you know, writing home about. Although it is very possible that we will, but you know, with, with bait, it's, it's a big mystery. That's my favorite part about using live bait and just baits in general, uh, as opposed to lures. It's a really big mystery for me. So we caught a small gaff, I think it's called a gaff tail catfish or a sailfish. A sail catfish, something like that. Comment below what you think it was. I think that was a really interesting, exotic looking fish, but a lot of people here in Florida think they're a big nuisance and they get they get annoyed by catching them. I hope that this little example will help you really get into live lining fish or, uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Here, Aaron. No. Take it, take it, take it. Quick, quick, quick. Real, 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 real. Oh, go, girl. Go, girl. <laughs> she got one. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you can do I don't it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Set the drag so it doesn't snap you off. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's running. It's taking you for a ride. That's a cool boy. It's a grouper. Yeah, right. Don't get people's hopes up. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa, it's taking you for a run. Does not want to come up yet. Let me see you. I don't see it. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, oh. whoa. How do I get this up? Oh How do I get this up? That thing is huge. Oh, my God. It's time. It's okay. Time. Oh, gosh. Hand the rod over oh, to gosh. me. Oh, gosh. Okay, you take that. I'll take this. Okay. Stay right there. Ready? So now, if you're on a pier and you need to land a big fish, uh -huh. do not just lift it this way. Okay. Okay? What you want to do is straighten your rod so it's straight up like this. Oh, okay. Okay? Then start picking it straight up. Oh, my God. Big. Wow. That's a big sail. That's boy. a big sail. Wow. Nice one. Hold on to this rod. Look at all the whiskers on it. Look at all the slime on the line. You need to really be careful with these kind of catfish. They've got they've got one, the skin is like really slippery, so when you grab it, it might slip. It's two, if you slip, do you see these barbs right here? Oh. You see these? These are really sharp, and if it gets stuck in you, it'll be really painful. Yeah, the venom. And they've got, and they've got venom in there. So you need to be careful because if you get stabbed by this, it goes in, but it's really hard to come out. Wow! Look at these whiskers. He got the Mr. Miyagi whiskers. <laughs> Look at that. What's going on, Mr. Miyagi? I'm gonna get some pliers real quick. Let's get him back in the water. Yeah. So now get a rag. Ooh, it's slippery. Ooh, I almost hurt my knee. Please be careful. Get a rag. Put it over top of it. Grip it behind the fins. Grip it right? behind the fins. Okay. Wow. Nice, Brendan. All right. See you, dude. Oh, 
Oh. That was awesome. Oh gosh, look at all you that. You need slime. guys need to be very careful here. Yes, that's kind of cool who was talking and all of a sudden yeah. the fish is here. Yo, you my rig. Ew. 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 So we weren't able to catch any kind of game fish. Uh, only able to land some big cool catfish. Um, but I'm, I hope that you guys will, will watch this tutorial. And if any beginners are watching, I really hope that it helps you guys start getting into live lining fish. And I hope I can get you on a big fish. And if it, if it does help you, come back and tell me it helped you because I'll keep making videos to help you. Yes. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Thank you for Have watching. a good one. See you next week.